I got to live my dreams, Johanna Conta announces retirement from tennis. Johanna Conta has announced her retirement from tennis, saying she's grateful she got to realize her dreams out on the court. The 30-year-old, a former World No.4, made history when she became the first female Brit to reach the last four at Wimbledon in 2017. She also made the semi-finals at the Australian Open and French Open in 2016 and 2019 respectively, while winning four WTA Tour titles and competing for Britain in the Fed Cup. There had been mounting uncertainty over Conta's future in the sport after she plummeted to 113th in the world rankings, with fitness problems hampering her progress over the last two years. However, confirming the news in a statement on her social media pages, Conta did not cite injury as her reason for retiring and instead reflected on how incredibly fortunate she had been to live out her childhood ambitions. Grateful, this is the word that I've probably used the most during my career and is the word that I feel explains it best at the end," she said in a statement. My playing career has come to an end and I am so incredibly grateful for the career that it turned out to be. All the evidence pointed towards me not making it in this profession. However my luck materialized in the people that came into my life and impacted my existence in ways that transcended tennis. Conta added, I am so incredibly grateful for these people. You know who you are. Through my own resilience and through the guidance of others, I got to live my dreams. I got to become what I wanted and said as a child. How incredibly fortunate I count myself to be. How grateful I am. A little update from me dpic.twitter.com l1tpjdhw10 Conta, born in Hungary to Australian parents, had managed just one win in her five most recent appearances at majors and last featured at the Cincinnati Open back in August. She missed Wimbledon after coming into close contact with somebody who had contracted COVID-19 and subsequently withdrew from the Tokyo Olympics after herself coming down with the virus. It was very difficult. There was nothing good and nothing fun about having COVID and having to miss Wimbledon and the Olympics. There's just no way around that, Conta, unvaccinated at the time, said. However, I consider myself quite a happy person, quite a positive person, and definitely a pragmatic person, and I like to practice perspective in all the good things I do have in my life. Blackmail. Novak Djokovic's father hits out at Australian Open organizers' watch. Emma Rajakanu loses breakpoint to ball boy in exhibition, match it cannot happen, Andrew Castle calls for patience over Emma Rajakanu's next steps, so I had to definitely utilize those tools. And at the end of the day, I looked at my life and everything's okay. I just tried to draw energy from there and looked forward to when I could start